Over the White House, over nuclear plants, or nearly crashing into planes, drones are everywhere, but they're not always welcome. It's leading to a new crop of tech, anti-drone systems. Falcon Shield, which is the, the product we're launching today, is Celex ES's solution to this uh, rapidly evolving threat from uh, micro and mini UAVs. Finn Mechanica's Celex ES has built a system that detects, tracks, and takes down unmanned aviation devices. Three British companies have also teamed up to create a new system. Blighter surveillance systems are showing here the world's first fully integrated uh, anti-UAV defense system comprising of three bits of technology, a radar for the detection of drones, a camera system for tracking and classifying that, that drone, and then an RF inhibitor or jammer system for uh, controlling what happens to that drone once we've detected it. The hope is that it will force the drone operator to either turn it around or to trigger an automated response to send the drone back to its operator. Certainly shooting lead is going to result in, in damage somewhere on the ground. Um, this system is a very passive system in that we are simply influencing the drone without physically throwing energy at it. Some companies have gone a different route. Boeing, for instance, is experimenting with a portable laser system. And the use of such systems are not limited to active conflict areas. It's not just for military use. Um, the capability needs to span the, the security spectrum all the way from um, police usage all the way up to military usage. But as with drones, the regulation surrounding anti-drone systems is still murky territory. Inevitably, using the RF inhibitor or jammer system, uh, we need to have uh, suitable permissions to, to interfere on those radio channels. That's particularly why we're aiming at government and military users, because they're the ones who can influence that, uh, that decision. 